the madman. Let's see. I actually have to do a little bit of thinking into what cards you keep against Druid. The Ravaging Ghoul doesn't do anything against Druid early. Uh, we're mulligating as if it's token Druid. Aggro Druid. I think I'll keep Stonehill then. Why not have Cold Light instead of Battle Rage since you expect to draw two from Battle Rage anyways? Because then you don't cause your opponent to draw two. In Dead Man's Hand Warrior, you often didn't want to make your opponent draw two. This is looking possibly pretty sweet. Uh, the Battle Rage might be set up very good here. And I'll draw a bunch of cards with this. It's nice. Actually, I'll have to watch out to make sure I'm not drawing too many cards. Of eight cards, hit. Yeah, that's actually too many cards. Curses! I have too many cards! That's a good problem. Hey, is a Lich King? When condition found. Strike! I mean, the win condition is generally Stonehill after all. But there are more ways to win the game with this deck than it would appear at first glance. I think is the way to put it. That belongs in a museum. A brain of pain. Yeah. Rare situation. Rare, I think, where I have too many cards and Battle Rage would actually overdraw. I'm pretty sure this is an uncommon situation, having played Dead Man's Hand Warrior a lot, knowing that I hurt for draw. I have to think on whether or not I want to have a whirlwind effect next turn. The turn I play Akla, I definitely want to draw, but I already have so many cards in my hand. I think I'm not going to Battle Rage next turn. I don't think I'm going to Fishes next turn. I don't think I'm playing Akla next turn, so I'm going to keep the Blood Razor. I think this is more valuable being saved for an execute. My thoughts are played. Hmm. Now I do have a bunch of armor and I need to, well, no, I'll be able to gain back the armor later, probably. To hit something. Death is eternal. I'm going Lich King is a fine play too, which is kind of the default, I suppose, play? Yeah, I'll just play that. I could definitely have thought of um, coiling this. I actually didn't consider it. 
Alright, so this is the matchup. I really want the matchup I dreamed about. Play against Raza Priest. Hit the button a bunch, and then win the game. So in this matchup, the Geist will ensure that his Raza has a maximum damage of something like only about 32, and then I just have to stay above 32. And if the opponent is Big Priest, then... No, I actually don't know very much about how that matchup goes. But I do have a Shield Slam for the first big threat, and I have an Execute for the second big threat. Oh. Interesting. I don't think Big Priest even runs any one cost spells. They run pint sized. We don't want to get rid of their pint size. I don't want to get rid of my shield slam in this matchup. What in the world? Oh, it's going to be the OTK Priest. Uh, the Vine Spirit and her Fire Priest. Dragon Priest. I don't really know if OTK Priest is the right terminology for that. Guess we'll do it this way. Oh, that is one of the decks where if I Geist them, they just lose. I had forgotten. And they still have the Inner Fire and stuff. I mean, they still have the Dragons and stuff. Uh, that would have been a good reason to use Shield Slam instead. I can actually Shield Slam Coin Geist here. It didn't quite click to me. I got rid of two of their cards. It hit two Potions of Madness, two Inner Fires, and two Power Red Shields. Two of which were in his hand. It's hard to say which ones we ate. <laughs> you have been. It was tempting to put in a hatchling also. I couldn't find the room for it. Maybe instead of a stonehold defender? That could actually be it. After all, I run uh, two Ravaging Ghouls on top of Fibonacci right now. That covers up the three spot a bit more. I could just run one hatchling instead of one stone hill. I'll consider it. Yeah, this is my first time getting the spike shield. I was also thinking that I don't think I can win against King's Bane Warrior. Our King's Bane Rogue. Well, that's a small amount, small enough amount of the meta that doesn't matter. I can win. I just Skulking Geist on 6. Something like that. Nice <laughs> Tempo Dax to so just go full tempo. Seems decent. Next turn, I can uh, kill a guy. Oh, wait. Well, yeah, I can equip the 5 2.
Hmm, fishy. And the armor could be good too. And hey, it's even done in the right order. I think we can do better than four armor. No? Irv uh, wants me to play this card. Yes, but, uh, hmm, thinking. I think I do really need that plus one hatchling. As I was playing that game, I was thinking, hmm, of course if you run your opponent out of stuff and then you just even have a 3-3, three, three, you'll win, but... You very well might need a hatchling, after all. Or maybe even two hatchlings. So, what if I just run Direhorn Hatchling instead of Stonehill Defender? A 5 mana 3 6 taunt. That's not that bad. It's probably one of the cards I would be most happy to see out of Stonehill Defender. But, having a card that I can play on 3 is really, really good. What if I decided to cut the Corrid Sentry and the Dry Whisker armor, and then I put in Direhorn Hatchling and Beetle and an Azoth? I like it. I like it. The, the Beetle is like the big bridge, actually. All right, we're changing it up. We're changing it up. Hey look, you found the win condition. Ah, I forgot I don't have to run. What is this? It was first. Ooh, it's Zoo. Got a solid anti-Zoo hand. Blood Razor, Fishies, Brawl. You are not the boss of me. Why do you call? If the Acolyte deals one damage to the Flame Imp, Blood Razor finishes him off, so that's okay. In this sense, Acolyte of Pain is kind of like... Shiv? Kind of? Let's play it the greedy way. The draw three, uh, but take, draw an extra, but take three damage method. So it's kind of like I life tapped for zero mana. He discarded the other Doom Guard, which means I can't die if I hit the captain here. Unless I get exactly double Bullflyer, I think. shape here. Bring the pain. No, but actually after this turn I think we are in the stable clear. He still can just double soul fire me, but once I avoid that possibility it's all over.
Wow, what a ha what a card of the cards guy. Oh my god. What's the point of playing this deck with only one dead man's hand? In the appropriate matchup, you put nine of your better cards back in your deck. Trade this in, but I don't need to. Maybe if I had another card out on the board, so the Potion of Madness could actually draw my current. Alright, the opponent's Raza Priest. Our game plan here is to gain enough health to go out of range of... To go out of range. I'd also like Balor to draw more cards, but I guess... That's not necessary. I could have killed Kazakus to go down below, but I think in this case, just gaining a little bit of extra armor might be good. I actually have second thoughts about that turn. Well, in this case, having this around to deal one damage really helped. I want to avoid taking damage early, since any damage now is armor I have to gain later. The dream is he picked a one cost potion, and I can just skulking geist it. A dream. Alright, let's hit him with it. Nothing. Got rid of Holy Smut and Potion of Madness, but unfortunately he wasn't caring. Draw two cards. I can draw. Hmm. Yeah, drawing two cards with Battle Rage seems good here. What now? I cycle my battle rage. Yeah, because I think this is coming down to fatigue. Wait, that means I shouldn't shuffle battle rage. But I don't want it in my deck. Yeah, it's fine. Drawing one card with it is just about the right size. Just about right. So, my general game plan here is as follows. One, don't play Garrosh. Just press the button each turn. Two, Dead Man's Hand will try to aim at two Direhorn Hatchlings and Azoth, which will give me a huge deck size advantage.
I'll save the armor smith for when I'm guaranteed to gain armor since that's really important in this matchup. I'll probably play this after you play as Anduin. Hmm. All right, I'll take my one armor, I guess. I did say something along the lines of wanting to save this to Dead Man's Hand, but as he draws cards, I need to Dead Man's Hand fewer cards. I have not gained a lot of armor because I still have two plated beetles in the shield block in the, and one of the shields in my deck. There we go. So he doesn't have Potion of Madness since I geisted it. Yeah, this is probably fine. Let's see, I can try to piece together the perfect DMH hand. I don't want to shuffle in both brawls, so the goal is simple. Play one... Brawl. In fact, maybe I don't even want to draw cards here. I'm shuffling every single card in my deck and hand back in. And then we will be able to out fatigue the opponent. Let the pain speak to me. Bring the pain. That's gonna look something like his deck size will be Probably about four. Is he silent? Which one's he silencing? Mine. Woo. Also, that silence just made his uh, burst or less damage. Ooh, tower shield plus fifteen or plus ten. Uh, I think I'm fine not shuffling the other beetle since he just drew a bunch of cards. Well, first, look at my hand, see if there's any card I really don't want. What now? No, I kind of like all of these. Alright, let's become Garrosh, I suppose. So after this hatchling dies, we'll have had two hatchlings die. And let's see, I just had a beetle die. And I shuffled in one beetle, so it's gonna be a two hatchling three beetle, Nazoth. But I'll just play the first one now. Yeah, it's fine. Two and one. All right, sure. Almost out of cards. Nice casual fifty-one health. Not all are lost. Oh. Uh... And this is why I decided to play this deck over a dead man's hand. It's because the bring it on is surprisingly bad against Raza. Oh no. Did you only deal... Let's see, how much damage is he at so far? It's like 28 damage. Whatever.
Outlasted. Oh man, he's so close. I'm at 28. Oh, that's a card. Wow, that guy runs Geist in his deck. Incredible. Just letting him hit me a little bit with that Direhorn. Make sure he, you know, feels a little bit satisfied with punching me in the face. The mothers are mad at all the babies being killed. It's time to get serious. Your victory proves nothing. This would have been the nail in the coffin. I probably would have gotten him to concede early.